Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost and on today's quick tip for Lightroom, I want to demonstrate how to archive your images or move images to an external drive that Lightroom is not aware of. So we can see here in the library module in the folders area that Lightroom is aware of my internal drive, but I have an external drive that's hooked up, but Lightroom is not aware of it. The easiest thing to do is click on the plus icon and choose to add a folder. You can then navigate and create a new folder anywhere. So if I scroll down here and navigate to aux, which is my external drive, I'll create a new folder. And in this case, I will call this archive and then click create. Once I create a new folder through Lightroom and I choose that folder, you can see that I now have two hard drives that Lightroom recognizes, my Mac internal hard drive and this aux folder, and in fact, there's the folder called archive. So when I'm finished with work from a client, I can then move that off my internal hard drive to this kind of external archive drive. It's just the images that I don't need access to all the time. And I would want to make that move through Lightroom. So in this case, let's say I'm finished with the still life images. I'll select the folder, or you could select multiple folders by holding down the Command key or the Control key on Windows. But in this case, I'll just select Still Life and drag and drop it to the Archive folder. You'll notice that Lightroom warns me that it's actually moving those files on disk. This is a little bit unlike your operating system. Your operating system typically would make a copy or a duplicate of those files on this external drive. But Lightroom's actually going to move them for you. When you click Move, you'll notice that the Still Life folder will be removed from the internal Macintosh hard drive. And instead, it will be added to the archive drive. And of course, by moving all of the images around within Lightroom, if they were in any collections or anything, all of that information is still being held in the Lightroom database, so there will be no need to redo any of that. Excellent! That's the easiest way to make Lightroom aware of a new external drive and copy files to it.